Happy Father's Day, YouTube! My name is Clickwid, and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 15 wishlist video. And today, we're going to actually be focusing on the collections aspect of the game. And uh, what I want to see in Madden 15, the upcoming game that should be coming out in late August, at least if it's on the schedule of the other Madden games that have come out. Now, in the background, what you guys are going to be watching is a head-to-head -head seasons gameplay that I played recently, uh, I think maybe uh, Tuesday this past week or so. And this was a really close game early in the game, at least. And uh, then I did actually break away and won this one by a pretty significant margin. But that's not really what we're going to be focusing on today. We're going to be focusing on the collections and how they can be actually improved for Madden 15. Now, the first thing that I want to get into is that I think there were a lot of collections that people just didn't do. And specifically what I'm talking about are the loyalty collections. The ones that you got in like the Lombardi packs and things like that. Because those cards were almost impossible to come by. It was just ridiculous. Um, I mean, there were some of them like the Super Bowl collection or like the, the cover collection that were just ridiculous. It was like 20, 30, 40 cards that you had to collect and you couldn't just get them in normal packs. You had to get them with, you know, just randomly, the, they would assign you a, uh, a Lombardi pack or you would do, I, I don't even know how the hell you got Lombardi packs to be completely honest with you. It just seemed like I would randomly get them. But it was almost impossible to do them. So, I, I mean, to this day, I've only done one and it was one that I just got, I, I got the one out of one. It was like a Super Bowl trophy card or something like that. And so that was, the entire collection was just that one card. I've never been able to do any of the rest of them. So I think what one of the things that has to be done is that it needs to be more feasible to achieve those collections because the rewards aren't like astronomical on them. It's not like you're getting a million coins or something if you get them. It's like 100K. So, you know, to me, that's one thing that I want to see improved. Now, moving on, I think another thing that needs to be allowed is that you need to be able to uh, trade or sell all of the collectible cards or at least the vast majority of them maybe there's a couple exceptions but you know like the loyalty ones how great would it be if you could trade your friend i've got the pass interference card for example and my friend has the holding one and we both just need the one more to make our full collection why not make that achievable why not make it so that we can make that trade it would be so much better i would you know i think everybody would greatly appreciate that if they would allow us to be able to trade collectibles or sell collectibles Next thing, fewer collectibles in the lesser value collections. There's some of these collections that are, you, you practically get nothing when you do them. And it's like 20 cards, you know, it's like, it's just ridiculous. I, I shouldn't need to come across this many collectibles to be able to do collections. I have to imagine that there are a ton of collections that they have in this game that practically no one has done. Or, you know, like a very few have done at least. So, you know, that would be one thing, you know, let's improve and let's make it so that these collections are actually able to be achieved by more than a couple people throughout the entire time that the game exists. Next thing, you need to allow for more items in pending collections. And this is something that I think I talked about in a previous video, but right now I think it's like 25 cards or something like that that you're allowed to have in pending collections. Why so few? Why can we not have it at least be the maximum number to, like, let's say there's a, a 40 card collection or something like that. Why can there not be 40 cards in my pending collections? Why should I have to go back and forth and back and forth between my reserves and my current roster and then my pending collections? Just make it easy on me, please, for the love of God. I don't want to have to just be everything be such a pain in the ass. Last thing, the rewards need to be auctionable or tradable or both. It's crazy that there's so many of these collections in this game that give you cards or things that you can't trade. Why? Why, 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 why? I want to be able to trade my my collections when I get them. Otherwise, what if I don't want to play the game anymore? What if I want to sell my PlayStation 4 and get an Xbox One? Not that I'm going to do that, guys. Don't worry. But let's say that I wanted to do that. Why do you make things such a pain in the ass for me? I, I don't understand. I just want to be able to sell my collectibles. I did the work to get them. Let me reap the benefits. Let me get something for them. If, if for example, I already have an all 99 squad, 
Maybe I don't need the card that I get in a collection, but I still want to be able to do the collection so that I can get more coins. Why is that so hard to, to achieve? I don't understand it. I really, really, really just don't understand it. And, uh, you know, Mutt 25 was my first experience playing Madden. Actually, it was my first experience playing any sort of Ultimate Team. Um, I had played Madden in the past, but not Ultimate Team, I should say. But to me, I barely did any collections because seriously, they were such a pain in the butt to do. And unless you just happen to get lucky and get one of the cards on one of the collections that only has like five cards in the collection, it just was like, it, it was almost something that was just too big of a pain to even bother with. I mean, like the sparkle cards were all amazing. Don't get me wrong. They, they were such good cards and uh, it was totally worth it to do them if you could. But, you know, we're talking like 30, 40, 50 cards in some of these collections and it's just insane. I mean, why would I why would I take the time to do that to get a card that's only going to be marginally better than some of the other cards that are out? And not only that, but since the Ultimate Legends have come out, like the Sparkle cornerback cards, for example, still very, very good, but they're not better than like the Ultimate Legend Night Train Lane, for example. So, and that card was just a card that you can buy or a card that you could open in packs. So I just don't get it. It seems to me like they need to make collections easier to do and uh, make them more valuable as well once you do do them. So anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you press that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I want to hear what you guys have to suggest for the collections for Madden 15 as well. Let me know if there's something that I missed or anything like that. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Happy Father's Day to all of you, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.